I had my Leica A camera with me, and suddenly I saw a flying saucer. It had no wings, absolutely none. I took a photo and wound on the film, but it was already directly over me. Then I took a second photo, and I could see it was a flying saucer. M was devastated by what he felt was the theft of his saucer. Ed would get his own back later, but in the meantime, the Germans had a flying saucer. It actually flew and flew pretty, pretty well. This is what the German saucer looked like. It was based on the flying saucer principle, the effect discovered by Henry Coanda, whereby the ship created an area of low pressure above it and literally sucked itself into the air. But it combined this with other new technologies, such as the helicopter and the jet engine. It was fast, versatile, and could potentially carry a heavy payload of bombs underneath. But perhaps most important in a country which had lost so many runways to Allied bombing, it could take off vertically. These saucers worked in one sense almost like a helicopter in that they had rotating vanes. The vanes would rotate underneath the saucer and were powered by a jet, the same jet that moved the, the saucer forward, would be directed up to spinning these vanes to give it lift. They were to be used as a bomber. Every machine built in those years was a war weapon. What was to be the final battle of the Third Reich? According to the Mercer, an increasingly desperate and deluded Hitler plotted to use his secret new weapons in a devastating attack on New York. <laughs> 